Good morning, this is Linda from the Y. YMCA, we're going to do a yoga class today and a little bit of meditation to start. So what I would suggest, if you have a mat, to place it out. And if you rather sit on a chair, that's fine too. Um, especially in the beginning, to do the uh, mindfulness practice. In the beginning, you, if you have a strap or a block, um, I have my hot water. I'm just going to just share with you hot water and lemon every day to, um, to fire up our bellies and to keep our agni, our fire, nice and strong. It's really an important piece. Every morning, you, um, you can add a little uh, ginger in it as well, some slices of ginger, some lemon. It's a nice way to... to um, boost up our, our fire in our bellies. So um, this is Penny. If you don't know, she's a 12-year-old multi-poop, so she's probably going to join us. And um, I think a good thing to do to start is to center ourselves, to connect with our body, our mind, you can bring your palms together. You can relax your shoulders back and down. If you need to, sit on a chair, that's fine. If you need to um, sit on a blanket or a pillow underneath your buttocks, it's a way that your knees can open up a little bit more. Bring your shoulders back and down, let the crown of your head head rise up towards the ceiling and just breathe. So inhale and exhale. Your hands can be on your thighs. They can be down to ground a little more deeply or you can keep them up with your pointer and your thumb to connect, to receive and use your breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose nice and slow. Nice and slow. Inhaling and exhaling. And then I'm going to bring you into a little more connection with the, with the body, but it's called an inner smile meditation. As our eyes are gently closed, Visualize the golden, golden light inside each and every one of us, all the time. All you have to do is become aware of this golden light. Let it fill our bodies up. Let's start from the area of the top of the head. Move that golden light. Think of it as flickering lights flickering lights moving through our, our forehead, our ears, moving down to our face, our eyes, behind the eyes that see, our insight, our imagination, fill it up with flickering light, our creativity. Moving down to our throat, a way to express, feel those flickering lights moving through your body. As you're inhaling and exhaling, let them move and create light all around the heart space. Filling yourself up with compassion and light. And then move that flickering light into the third chakra, into your will, your desires. Create more fire, more energy. Move it down into your sacral area where there's flow, connecting to water, but hips, pelvis, bringing in all those lights those flickering lights. Now imagine the flickering light, imagine it's in your belly. And 
And there's an inner smile with each breath, inhaling and exhaling. And with each breath, feel your inner belly smile, expanding. Feel the inner smile within every cell of your being. Every cell of your being, allowing that light to permeate through your body. Like a wave of an ocean, washing and moving that light, that beautiful inner smile through your body. Expanding as the belly, as you inhale, expand the belly, fill it with those inner smiles, and exhale, release. Now like you're, it's a tuning fork, this divine inner smile is resonating through your body, and just offer it out. Offer it out to the people in your life, your family, your friends, that you want to send some of this inner smile light to them. Let's send it out to all the healthcare workers, all the people on the front line that are working to keep us, keep us healthy, keep people safe, keep people cared for. Let's send it out to them. Send in this light. We're all interconnected. So bringing this light onto them. Good, now just bring your chin to your chest. Slowly open your eyes. And now bring your fingers and your hands. We wanna connect a little with the body before we're gonna go into the yoga stretch. So start to circle the areas of your temple. Just <clears throat> with the vagus nerve, you want to just connect with the whole front body. So we start with our fingers on our temple. And now we bring our fingers in the middle above our eyebrows and just circle. Use your breath, still breathe. Now bring your fingers to each side of the nose and just massage, waking up that area. Fill your whole body with breath. Inhale and exhale. Bring your fingers down to either side of the chin. This is another point. Keep using your breath. Inhale and exhale. And then bringing your hands to your heart, crossing your hands and circling the area of your heart. You want to fill your heart with compassion and love for ourselves this morning. And then we want to bring connection into our belly. So bring both hands and make a circle. One hand on top of the other and just circle the belly. Just a connection to our body. Good. Now bring your palms together. Open them up. And just visualize a beautiful acorn in the palm of your hand. And a metaphor of a seed is that within it is hidden potential. So plant something you want to plant into your practice today. Into your practice. Whatever it is. Doesn't matter. It could just bring a little more breath into my day. It could be a little more gratitude to everything that is okay in my life right now at this present moment. 
just so that when the mind wanders, when we go into something that happened or something that we're perceiving that's going to happen, we remember to get back to our breath, to come back to that present moment. That'll keep us in the now. It'll keep our mind a little bit quieter. It's normal. We all have it throughout the day. There's waves when we start to bring in a little fear. But then we can use these practices to bring ourselves back home, back home to our body, mind, and spirit. So now bring your palms together. Let's start with a nice own inhale through the nose. And exhale. Good. Okay. So let's, if you want to be on your mat right now, let's take everything off. Take your strap. Come down on your mat. And we're going to do a little bit of stretching. Okay, so come onto your mat and bring your strap around the, the right foot. So bring the right leg up, keep the left leg down, and you can move your hands higher if you need to. Relax your shoulders onto the floor, feel the ground. Press into the left. Heel, left heel into the mat. The right leg is extended. You're pushing in, creating your, bringing the toes towards the ceiling. You're doing a nice stretch for that leg. Use your breath, relax your shoulders. Feel the body supported by the mat. Use your breath. Press into the left heel, into the mat, and breathe. Stay here. When the navel releases, let it move down towards the mat. So inhale and exhale. Now flex that same foot. Stay with this stretch. Relax your shoulders. And breathe. You want to feel that leg elongating. You want to allow your left heel to press into the mat. Breathe. Relax your arms a little bit. Still use pressure on the strap so that you're really tightening and stretching and elongating that right leg. Breathe. Good. One more time. Point. And one more time, flex. And then just bring that knee, bend the knee, remove the strap, and relax that leg, that right leg down. Feels much or a little bit longer than the left. So bring the left, bring the strap around the ball of the left foot. If you don't have a strap, you can always use a Strap from your bathrobe, right? Any kind of strap would do. A long scarf, anything to use to lengthen and stretch the leg. So first we're going to point those toes towards the sky. Relax those shoulders. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale. Feeling the support. Breathe. Now flex the heel. Inhale and exhale. Keep breathing. Keep allowing the leg to elongate. Anytime our mind wanders, just bring it back to your breath. Inhale and exhale. Still do that. Really release. Okay, now remove the block. Bring your knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Massage your lower back.
Then take your right knee, bring it in, let the left thigh come down, straight circle. So you get movement. Now movement in the small intestine area as you're just massaging, so the upper thigh and lower belly are massaging one another. Keep using your breath. This is good to do in bed before you have to go to the, um, <clears throat> when you wake up. And if you have a lot of pillows underneath, remove, only keep one pillow and just do this in the morning. It's a great way to bring a little energy into di our digestive areas. Take your left hand to your right knee, bring the right arm out to the side, bring that right knee over to the left, let that right foot land on a part of that left thigh, lift the head an inch, turn it to the right, and breathe. So you want to inhale and exhale, let that right shoulder land, don't lift it up, stretch, bring that right knee over to the left, breathe. Just inhale and exhale. You can move that right knee over to the left a little more, get a deeper stretch. And then bring that right knee back to center. Straighten that right leg. So let's straighten the right leg that we elongated and walk our hands up. Bring the navel down towards the earth. Stretch, feel. Bring the left heel down into the mat. Walk those hands back down, bend that right knee. If you'd like, you can bring your hands to either side of that right foot or that ankle or that shin. Whatever feels right for you, relax your shoulders. Release the head down, bring the chin towards your chest and breathe. So feel that body grounded into the earth. So think about like a ping pong ball or a golf ball underneath your chin, bringing your chin to the chest, holding it there. And then releasing it down. Bring your left knee to the chest and circle. So big circles. So large intestine energy on the left side. You're moving, descending, colon. Just massaging that area. Go the opposite direction with your circles. Take your right hand on the left knee, bring the left arm out to the side and bring your left knee over to the right. Let your left foot land on a part of that thigh. So if you want a deeper stretch, bring it up higher and come over, keep that left shoulder on the mat. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale. You lift your head, you turn it to the left, and now you breathe. Now notice if the mind starts to get busy, if something comes up to distract you with thought, it's okay. Just let it go, just like a wave in the ocean, and go back to your breath. Throughout our practice, our mind wants to distract us, but we want to just practice coming back to our breath, coming back to the moment, the present moment. We're here now. There's nowhere else to go. We keep ourselves in this space, coming back to the breath. It's a healthier way to start to build a little more connection and a little more awareness of the mind. Bring that left knee back to center. Lift the, straighten the leg, lift the head and the upper back and walk the hands up. And again, flex that left foot this time, press the right heel down and breathe. Press the navel into the mat. And then bend the knees, bring the hands to either side of the foot if you'd like. And then lower the upper back and head. Bring your chin towards your chest. Use a golf, think of a golf ball or a ping pong ball underneath, holding it underneath your chin and breathe. Bring that right heel down. Good, now release that left leg. 
bring both knees into the chest, bring your two fingers around your big toes, come into happy baby, and then extend those legs. And then bring those knees in, and then again, extend them out. Bring the soles of your feet together, your hands on your ankles, and let those elbows open your knees. You can lift your head and your upper back and bring those heels down towards the groin. Lower the upper back and head back down and open those legs. Stretch. Bring them back in. And then again, open. And bring them back in, getting a little more stretch in the inner thighs. Bring those knees together and make big circles with your knees, just making sure you're massaging the whole lower back area. And breathe. Go the opposite direction with your circles. Good. Now, you're just going to bring your feet mat width apart. So we just want to get a little stretch in the outer hip, also the IT joints. Bring your arms out to the side. Bring both knees. So your feet are, your left foot is half on the mat, half on the, on the floor, and the right as well. Half on the right side of the mat, half on the floor. If you want to get a deeper stretch, you bring your heels closer to your buttocks. Bring both knees over to the right, stretch, and then bring both knees over to the left, stretch. And if you'd like, turn your palms down, get a stretch in the upper uh, shoulders, and then bring both knees over to the right. Let your right foot, the outer right foot, go on top of the outer left knee and press into it. Bring a little energy into that area on the left side. Press in, stretch, breathe. And then remove that right foot, bring it back down, bring both knees over to the left. Same thing, take the outer left foot, bring it on the outer right knee and press in, get a little more stretch. Good, then bring it back up. Let's get a little energy in the abdomen. So you want to have a 90 degree angle from your heel to your knee to your knee to your hips. Bring your hands in the middle of your thighs. Press into your hands as your thighs are isometrically pressing into the hands. So the thighs and the hands are moving towards one another and your navel is pressing down. You want no space or very little space between the floor and your lower back and your mid back. And breathe, press the navel down. So create a little energy, a little bit of energy into that abdomen area this morning. Relax those shoulders. You're just pressing into the thighs as the thighs are pressing in to the hands. Good, and then release. Bring those feet down. Bring the knees over to one side and come on your hands and knees. So if you need to, place a blanket or a cushion underneath your knees to support them. Tuck your toes, really connect with those toes. Bring those toes out to the side so you're stretching those fourth and fifth toes that we sometimes miss. And then on the left foot, you can do one foot at a time. <clears throat> Untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the mat. So tuck your toes again now and we're going to do a little cat and cow. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Okay? So we want to do a nice cat and cow. So let's start where we're going to hold the space here to really get into the cat and the cow the inhale and the exhale. So we're gonna first untuck the tail. So we always start with the tail first. Untuck, spill the belly. Okay, we're inhaling, 
We're going to inhale. We're going to open the chest, shoulders away from the ears, and we're going to look up a little bit with the chin. Now I want us to inhale through the nose and just hold it here. Hold it here. Hold that stretch. And now with that stretch, use your breath. Inhale and exhale, but stay in the cow. Stay in the untuckedness of the tail and breathe. So we're keeping it in here before we start the movement. And now we're going to tuck the tail. We're going to bring the navel up towards the sky. We're going to bring our chin towards our chest and keep that energy of the hovering cat and breathe here. The chin towards the chest the untuckedness. <clears throat> so now we're tucking the tail. We're bringing the navel towards the sky, bringing the chin towards the chest and just breathing. And now we're going to use the movement. So untuck the tail first, spill the beans, arch the back, lift the chin, and now do it in your own rhythm, your own pace. Always do the tail first. And then extend your right leg straight. Keep it in line with your hip. And then bring it over to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Bend the knee. Tuck your toe. Extend your left leg. Bring it over to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Come back to center, bend the knee, tuck your toes, bring your buttocks towards your heels, extend those arms straight forward, relax your head, come into child pose, and breathe. And now untuck your toes, and release. Let the head, let gravity pull the head down towards the mat. Use your breath. Now bring your arms back into full child. Bring them behind you and see if your forehead moves all the way down. Use your breath. Bring your arms in front. Use your body. Create a figure eight. You can tuck your toes. Allow the shoulders to go clockwise, your hips to go counterclockwise, and you're creating a beautiful figure eight in your body. Stay with the breath. <clears throat> the mind wanders. Bring it back. Stay with the movement. And now go the opposite direction. Good, come back, bring your hands underneath your shoulders again. Widen those fingers so that you're really allowing the knuckles to glue into the mat. You're allowing the fingertips to glue into the mat. Tuck your toes, come up to your first downward dog, pedal your feet, relax your head and neck. Get a little bit more energy in the back of those legs. And then come forward into your plank. Make sure you're tucking your tail really well. Keep the arms nice and straight. Breathe, feel. And then if you'd like, you can come down chaturanga or knees, chest, and chin. Bring your hands by your waist. Bring your shoulders up and on your back. Keep your legs together. Bring your elbows towards one another. 
Come up to baby cobra. You don't have to lift your chin. Keep it down. Look down or a little in front of your mat. And breathe. If you want to come into gecko cobra, if you have any issues with your shoulders, bring your hands to the wood and come up a little bit more. In gecko, keep the feet together, the legs together, breathe. And release down nice and slow. Bring your hands by your waist, shoulders up and on your back, and come up upward facing dog. If your shoulders are released down and they're not rising up towards your ears, and breathe. And then exhale nice and slow. Tuck your toes and you can come up, use your belly. So you're going to come up, come back up to down with facing dog. And you're going to walk your feet towards your hands. And you're going to come into Uttasana pose, forward fold. Releasing down. Bringing your hands to opposite elbows. And moving from side to side. Rocking from side to side. You need to have a little bend in your knee. You don't want to hyperextend those knees. So a little bend is good. Release the head and neck. <clears throat> bring your hands now on outside of your feet, or you can bring them onto your shins, and release, come forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Crown of the head forward. Shoulders back. Breathe. Exhale with a nice side. Bend the knees, bring the arms around the body. Inhale up, exhale, hands to heart. So I'm going to come to the side. We're going to do a few of these, bring the palms together. We're going to inhale up. We're going to do a little back bend. Then we're going to come forward, fold with those hands. Bring the hands on the shins, reach out. Inhale, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale down. Bend the knees. Bring the arms around the body. Inhale up. Hands to sky. Exhale. Hands to heart. We'll do two more. Inhale up. Do a little back bend. Come forward. Bring the palms together. Hinge from the hips. Come down. Bring the hands on the shins. Reach out. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale with a nice sigh. Good, bend the knees slightly, bring the arms around the body, create that beautiful sun. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale up, come back, come forward, bring those hands down, bring the palms on the shins, extend out, crown of the head, shoulders away, inhale, get a nice stretch in the back of the legs, exhale. Bend the knees, bring the arms around the body. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Come back to center. Okay? So we're going to lift up here. Inhale. We're going to take the, right, the left hand, I'll mirror you, to the right wrist and come over for a stretch. So you can come <clears throat> hip width apart with your feet. Toes are facing forward. You're coming over to the side, so your right arm is going over to the left. Press into your right foot. Breathe. Feel that stretch on the right side. Come back up. Good. Now bring the arms down. Good. Lift up. Inhale. Take that right hand to the left wrist. Come over to the right. Press into the left foot. Breathe. Stretch. Press. Let the left hip move out. Keep the front body nice and straight. Good. Exhale. Come back up. Good. Pat the clouds.
stretch. <clears throat> Bring the arms around the body. Bring the shoulders forward. Bring them up and back. Create movement with those shoulders. Get movement in our shoulders. We hold a lot of tension in the back of our neck, our shoulders. Good, go the opposite direction. Allow more space in the shoulders and the neck. So let's create a little movement in the neck, okay? So a good way to do this for the neck will start by just <clears throat> extending it up, extending the neck up, bringing it up. And now flexing it forward. Good. Now bringing the head back to center. Bring the right ear to the right. Uh, so I'm mirroring you again. So the left ear to the left shoulder. <clears throat> so you take your left hand on the top of the ear. Press in. You can even bend that right elbow. Bring the front of your right hand to your tailbone. And breathe. Feel. Inhale, exhale. Then bring that right arm down. Lift the head back up. Left arm, uh, right arm down too. I'm getting a little mixed up with this mirroring here. But I'll do the best I can. Okay? So now take your right hand, bring it to the top of the um, left ear. And you're going to bend your left elbow. Bring the hand back to your tailbone. You're going to bring your head over to the right. You're going to press in. The left side of the head is pressing into the right hand. And breathe. Feel that stretch. Good. Release that hand back up. Good. Bring the hands down. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to extend up. This time we're going to use flexion down, like lateral flexion from side to side, massaging the back of our neck. And lift the head back up. Now we're going to turn our head and look to see how far we can see and where we can see. Check out your focal point when you turn your head to the left. What do you see right now? Then come back to center, and then bring your chin over to the right. See how far you can see, stretching that side, coming back to center. So a wonderful physical therapist that I know in Wayne at Healing Hands is Ed Wills. He taught me this one. You cross your wrists and bring your hands on your collarbone, okay? And now let's do the same thing. Let's turn our head over to the left and see if you can go a little farther so you get more of a stretch. So it's allowing the release and the scaling from the back of our neck. And then come back to center and do the same thing on the other side. Good, getting a nice stretch here coming back. So before we end, we're just going to connect a little with the kidneys, and we're just going to give ourselves a little energy with the kidneys. So we want to keep the kidneys healthy. Good. Now we're going to check out our lungs. We're going to take our our blanket or our block, or if we were sitting on a chair, and sit back down. We're going to do a little bit of an opening, bring those legs straight forward. Bring that heel in. We're going to bring that right hand to the outside. We're going to bring that arm up and come over, flat, flat back, stretch. So make sure the head, the chin doesn't come down. It just comes out. The navel goes back. 
Good. The left knee goes down. Then we come back up. We bring our right hand over to the left knee and we twist. Come back to center, switch legs. So depending which leg you had, do the opposite leg. So I'm here mirroring you. So my right heel I'm placing in. And my hand goes by my hip. So I'm kind of showing it like the left because I'm mirroring you bringing the right arm up and then over to the outside of that left foot. So it could be the left foot, the left ankle, the left shin, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't bring your chin down, you stay focused and <clears throat> from your hinging from the hip. Good, now come back up. Let's end with Dandasana, lift those arms up. Wiggle the waist out of the hips and come forward for your nice stretch. Dandasana is great if you're feeling a little lethargic, if you're feeling a little low, if you have low energy. Dandasana is a wonderful yoga pose to do if you're feeling a little down and out. Engage your navel and come forward and breathe. Always sit on a blanket or something raised. Bring your soles of your feet together for Suddhavada Kanasana. Fingers over your toes. Do a little butterfly, moving those knees and breathe. And then I want to end today, come into our lotus pose. Bring our palms together. Bring our hands on our heart. So we're going to close with inhaling and exhaling and bringing attention to your heart center. Bringing attention to that heart center. So first to ourselves, we're going to say, may I dwell in the heart. So repeat that to yourself. May I dwell in the heart. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. And may I be healed. And now we're going to bring it out to the others, for other people in our life, our family, our friends, people who might be suffering, people we know. So let's bring it out to them. Sometimes we feel very helpless because we can't be with the people that we love and care about. And even if we could, sometimes we don't know what we can do. It's that helpless feeling, but we can set out prayers and love, and let's send it out to them. May you dwell in the heart and visualize their face. Think of them. May you be at peace. May you be healed and May you be free from suffering. So now think of all the people globally, because we're all in this together. Let's bring in that inner smile, that beautiful smile, right? That inner smile. So we're going to end with a Hansi Mudra, which is an inner smile mudra. Take all your fingers, bring them together, okay? Bring them together and let the pinkies come up, the left pinky and the right pinky and coming into Hansi Mudra. So Hansi Mudra, may we all be free from suffering, feel that inner peace, that inner smile within us, and let's resonate it out to all beings everywhere, globally. So think of the energy, that beautiful light from the tip of your left fingertip. Move it down all the way over to create that smile over to the right fingertip and bring in those beautiful smiles into your body, mind, and spirit, those inner lights. Bring the palms together, open up, feel that light, let it resonate to your heart and let it flow into the hearts of all our families, friends, and people in the world that is suffering. Bring your palms together, thumbs on your forehead and back. Say something beautiful to yourself. I am smart. I am kind. I am loving. 
and then lift up our heads and let's offer each other peace. Namaste, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Okay.